Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny and this is mystery structure number one. Before we begin this expedition into multiplication, let's be very clear. The most important part of this course is you. You bring so much information to the course. You already know so much and you learn so quickly. What you bring to the course is incredibly powerful, so thank you. In this video, we're going to look at mystery structure number one. And I'll use my reveal box, the same box that I use in Estimate Mysteries. There's a number that is hiding under this box. Your clue to that number is this mystery structure. How many small cubes are in this structure? That is the number that is behind the reveal. What I'm going to ask you to do is to pause the video so that you can figure it out. This video will go silent for five seconds to give you time to click pause and find the answer. Pause the video now. Okay, now that you have paused the video and found the number, I'll reveal what the answer is. The number under the reveal, the number of unit cubes, is 20. What is really interesting about this is how many different ways people see this. Some people see eight cubes here in the front, and they know that right behind it there is another group of eight. So they start with two groups of eight, and they discover that two groups of eight is equal to 16. Plus these two make 18, and two more make 20, and that is how they see 20. But other people see it much differently. They break 20 apart in a completely different way. Here's an example. What some people see is 10 in the front and 10 more in the back. And they think about how 10 in the front plus 10 more in the back is equal to 20. 10 plus 10 is equal to 20, or two groups of 10 is equal to 20 but other people see it in still another way. What some people see when they look at this is two groups of six plus two groups of four. Sometimes when I hear new ideas, I have to look closely and listen closely to understand new ideas. Let me show you two groups of six plus two groups of four. One group of six, two groups of six. When I see those, I can start to see the two groups of four. Here's one group of four, and here's the other group of four. I'll put those back together. Some people see two groups of 10, but they don't see it as a front group and a back group. Instead, they see a group of 10 right here. I'll move that up so we can see the rest. Here is the first group of 10, and here is the other group of 10. There are two groups of 10, which is equal to 20. So this has to be 20. We're not quite to the end yet because I'm going to let you see a preview of the next mystery structure, mystery structure number two. Here it is. How many unit cubes are there? I'll reveal the answer in the next video, but if you want to find out early, pause the video now to take a closer look. This is the multiplication course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is mystery structure number one.